Okay, so a couple of people have asked how I've actually set the control to do the circle mode. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to do that. And it's quite easy. So first of all, you need to connect to Mission Planner. Plug your drone in. Click Connect. And you're going to want... Oops, wait for that to load up. Just turn my controller on. Right, so I'm all connected to Mission Planner. Go, and you're going to want to go into um, configuration. Go to flight modes. And there we can see I've got circle mode there on flight mode six. That was position hold. So if I flick my switches on my controller, you can see the actual move and highlight which one you selected on. So my circle mode, that was um, headless mode, sorry. All I should do is click on the drop down and pick what you want. So I think I'm going to try sport mode next. Go or auto, which is where you can set what waypoints. Okay, so I'm going to leave it on sport mode for the next time I go out. It was originally on simple mode, which is basically headless mode. Okay, so it's simple as that really. So you flick your switch to know which one you're selecting. Okay, and then you're gonna want once you've changed it, you're gonna want to hit save modes. Okay, and then if you do select circle mode, let me just go back to circle. There we go. Save that. So to set your distance on your circle mode, you're gonna to want to go to standard params. Scroll down, here you've got your option for circle mode. So I've got mine at 1000 centimeters, which is 10 meters. You can set your speed, the angle it rotates on. So if you leave it as the default, that is what I've got, the 10 meters. Um, and it works nicely. That's how you change it. If you've got any more questions, if you want me to show you how to do anything else, let me know and I'll make another video for you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to catch up on all my videos because I won't be posting all my videos on this page. Thank you.